You're probably reading the title of this video and thinking I'm crazy. Or maybe I am crazy. But Alperen Sengun just dropped 45 points and 16 rebounds whilst limiting Victor Wembanyama to just 10 points and 11 rebounds. In this video, I'm gonna break down the game. Now about the title, it's clickbait. I'm sorry, please forgive me, but I'm trying to build this channel back up. I promised the Rockets fans a breakdown video on Alper and Shengun, and then I disappeared and stopped uploading on YouTube for a few months because I was just trying to get my mind right, but you don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about basketball, so let's get straight into this. So looking at the stat sheet right here, Alperen Sengun became just the fifth player in NBA history to record 45 plus points, 15 plus rebounds, five plus steals in a game since 1973-74 when steals first started being tracked. Now on this list, it says the only other players to do this were Anthony Davis twice, Joel Embiid once, James Harden once, and John Drew. Who? Now, John Drew actually has a fascinating story around his career. If you want to go search that online, I'd recommend it. It's it's weird. But out of all those guys, at just 21 years old, Alfred Shengun is the youngest player to ever put up a stat line like that. Although Wemby will probably do it in just a few days because he's just been putting up crazy numbers. But let's look at the matchups between Wemby and Shengun so far this season. You can see on the screen right now what they've been averaging when they go up against each other. Now, obviously, bear in mind with a little pinch of salt that Wemby's minutes were restricted by the Spurs for a large part of this season, but still, out of all the centers that go up against Victor Wembanyama, Alperen Sengun is proving he's amongst the league's elite. Now let's look at the film and break down what Alperen Sengun did to drop almost 50 points on who I think is the best defender in the NBA. And I know you guys are gonna get onto me because the Spurs are a terrible team and I can't say Wemby's the best defender, but more on that later. Let's take a look at the buckets that Alpi scored against Wembanyama. So on this first play, you can see Jalen Green is driving to the hoop. He's forced his man to commit to him. Wembenyama is also coming to help. And Chetty Osman right here is going to lunge for the steal. As he does that, Jalen Green kicks to Jeff Green in the corner, who penetrates and drops it off. He has been spacing the floor, not quite at the three-point line, just by the mid-range area. And he's got Wemby right here. Now, we all know his wingspan is going to be up here to contest. Okay, so now he's got two options. He can drive, but look, there's three defenders there. Instead, he's going to go for the nice little floater over the top. Soft touch, soft hands, that's essential in a big now, and he gets it to go. You can see another example of that right here. Here, Wemby's got his hand up in his face, but Shengun releases it quick enough. If you look at the speed of his release, as soon as he catches it, the ball's going up. There's no time to think. He's already made that decision before he catches the ball. On this possession here, he's got Wemby on his back. He's posted him up in the high post area. There's lots of room behind him to operate. Let's see what he goes and does. So he catches the ball, has a glance over his shoulder to see where his teammates are, where the help defense is coming from. He gives it a sec. He's patient with it, puts the ball on the floor, and as he feels, when Benyama's body momentum going towards him, every great big man knows that when a defender's pushing their body against you, you can spin to the baseline. Go watch Akeem Olajuwon, go watch Shaq, they all do the same thing. As soon as the defender is pushing their forearm into you, you know you can quickly spin off them and go baseline. That's exactly what Shen Lun does. And you can see what happens as soon as he spins, look at Victor Wembenyama. All of his momentum going that way has now got him out of position. Alperen Sengun, as you can see, a crafty use of his offhand on Wemby's leg right there. We're not going to call these offensive fouls. We ain't soft like that. Gets under the hoop, and this is where he does a great job. See how he uses his body. You see the shape of his body going here to create this angle, preventing Wembenyama from reaching over and blocking the shot, because more than likely now, he'll be called for a foul if he reaches too much. And he does a great job going up with his left hand off the glass. And bear in mind, Wemby couldn't even load up to jump super high because he's still trying to recover from being, you know, his momentum going in the wrong direction. Now the shot actually misses, but because he's right there, he gets a quick second jump. Wemby's still stationary on the floor. He manages to tip it back in with his right hand. We're gonna see the pick and roll. This is where a bunch of his scoring came from. In this action, they've got two screens being set up here for Fred Van Fleet. This is an action you see a lot with most NBA teams now. Fred Van Fleet's gonna come off the second screen. Jeremy Sohan's chasing him over the top. Now, as Fred Van Fleet comes off, he's got Wemby with all attention on him. And Shengun can see all of this space going into the lane. He's not worried about Trey Jones. Respectfully, he's tiny. And Shengun is going to drive straight down. He's going to post up Wemby, get him on his back again. This time he dribbles once. Amazing footwork. Look at the footwork here. Look at the pivot. Okay, so he plants his he plants his pivot foot right there. And then he's going to spin once again because Wemby's momentum is leading in towards him. 
So he spins to the baseline, goes with the right hand. Once again, good use of the off arm to prevent the shot from being blocked and he gets it to go. Now the real key on these spin moves when you've got a defender pushing up against you is to use your elbow as a wedge. What I mean by that, you'll see right here. When Benyama's got his arm pushing on Alper and Shengun's back, so look what Shengun does right here. Look at his elbow. Can you see that as he puts that into Wemby's rib cage? Now this is giving him the separation he needs right here because his body is now facing that way. He's not going to be able to turn quick enough because of his elbow. And as soon as he's turned as well, look at this. Look at his eyes. They're going straight up at the hoop. That's the only thing he's worried about. He's going up with the right hand, finishing off the glass for the easy bucket. The Rockets love to find post-ups for Shen Goon coming off that screen roll. Here we go. Here's ones that set up a little bit deeper, not so far out behind the three-point line. This time, he gets the ball and this move. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I'm not even going to play this one in slow motion. Just watch this. He gets the ball, a little smitty, misdirection, gets under the hoop, fake, up, dunk. For extra safety. For extra safety, look at this, right? It's crazy to see a big man doing this. Little misdirection with the head fake gets Wembenyama thinking, oh no, is he gonna go to his left? Nope, he's going to his right. As again, you can see the off arm ensuring that he's got the seal on his defender, comes in. Once again, he's using his body. Look at that, he's sticking out his ass. Oh. Right, that's why, that's why. To make sure that Wemby can't get too close to the ball. And then a little fake. Wemby gets up off his feet, he loses his momentum, and then Shengu knows that Wemby's on the way down, he can go up, and he dunks it with one hand, you know, just in case Wemby can recover and block the layup. Shengun is sixth in scoring from post-ups amongst all big men so far this season. Of course, Jokic and Embiid lead the pack with Anthony Davis, Paul Zingis, and Jonas Valanciunas. But for a 21-year-old to be up in that company, it's pretty good. Here's another screen roll action. This time, Sochan gets absolutely destroyed by the screen, and now it's a two-on-one situation. Wemby's committed to Fred Van Fleet, so Alpi is seeing all of this space in this clear lane to the basket. If this man comes across to help, then we've got a wide open shot for Jabari Smith Jr. Trey Jones comes to help, you can swing the ball, so on and so forth. Alpi just goes steaming down the lane, throws it down. Two hands for safety this time, so they don't get blocked. Another screen roll action. Once again, the defenders, the game plan for the Spurs is what the Bucks usually do when they had Drew Holiday and Brook Lopez. You've got the big man dropped back and then the point of attack defender is going to chase over the top of the screen to try and recover, okay? So that they can hopefully alter a mid-range pull-up. But what they didn't account for is Alpi just diving straight to the hoop once again. Most big man, they're just going to chill out here on the perimeter. But instead, Alpi gets to the hoop, gets his body once again in between Wembenyama and the ball. Great body positioning and he scores the bucket. This time, a little isolation, a little, all right, Wemby, I know you're the new kid on the block, but I've been here for three years. Now, listen, you got all the advantage. I didn't even speak English when I came here. Let me show you how I do it. He goes with his left, left, drives, and look at the push. Look at the strength from Shengun. Stays on balance and manages to finish. So look at that one more time, right? He gets into Wemby's body, and a lot of people are gonna comment saying it's an offensive foul. Grow up, learn how to play basketball like a grown up. And he gets the offensive push, which isn't a foul. That's just being physical in a post. So Chan even comes to help. Now look at this. Most players, they'd be stuck. They'd be trying to pass the ball over here. And there's maybe a turnover. But Shen Yun stays poised. Once again, he sees the jump from the defender. Uses his pivot foot. And, you know, that's the unstoppable move right there. Looking, looking like a young Kareem. With little skyhook vibes going on. And as great as Wemby is... It's very, very difficult to block a skyhook without it being goaltending, so the ball being on the way down. As you can see right here, sizes him up, gets into his body, physical, pushes him off his spot, then he pivots through, little hook shot over the top. Great offense. And amongst all big men so far this season, Alperen Sengun is fifth in points scored off of drives. Now on this play, it's a little different. Sengun sets the screen, Fred Van Fleet draws three defenders all around him. Now, Shengu knows that he can't cut to the hoop. There's no routes to cut in because all the defenders are there. So he's just going to spot up on the three-point line. He gets the ball back from Fed Van Fleet. Wide open. Now, miles of space. He's an NBA player. You know what's going to happen. He's not Ben Simmons. He's going to knock that down. And we're going to see that happen once again. This time, instead of using the screen, Fred Van Fleet rejects the screen as Sochan is all the way up here. Can you see the way that Sochan puts his foot out to anticipate coming over the screen? That's how Fred Van Fleet knows that he's got all this space to drive into. So now Sochan has to change direction. So this time, rejects the screen. Wemby goes to help. Wide open again. Alper and Shengun 
It's another three-pointer. An absolutely sensational scoring performance. Now, before we break down the defensive side of things, where I think he's very underrated, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I'm just going to play you this clip, and you let me know if you want to subscribe or not. Over here, we about real basketball analysis. ESPN can keep all that other rubbish they're doing. So this was a clip from, I think it was during the pandemic, because we're doing a TV show from home, but... I've been seeing the vision before LP even got to the NBA. Another name I need you guys to watch out for is Alperen Sengun, coming out of the Turkish League. He was the MVP of the Turkish League. This man has the most beautiful footwork on the low block. That He's got a bag full of post moves that certain big men who have got max contracts in the NBA wish they had. He's got the footwork, <laughs> he's expanding his range, he's adding a little jump shot to his bag too. That's right, you guys know, we didn't pack no punches. We don't have a problem on this show. I'm just calling it how it is. But this guy, those skills though, the fundamental skills of basketball that he's been practicing in Europe, those fundamental skills transfer over to the NBA as well. You know, in the Olympics, they were talking about the FIBA rules being harder. When you come to the NBA and you've got those skills in your bag and you can get away with more and the referee's going to give you more free throws, referee's going to call more fouls on you. I believe this kid has the chance to come out and be an all-star on the level, or if not the higher level, of DeMontis Sabonis. So he's projected to go kind of later on in the lottery or even later in the first round. So I believe whichever team picks him, they're in for a tree as well. Defensively, Shengun has great instincts that help him steal the ball. He's averaging 1.3 steals per game, which is the same as Nikola Jokic. The only bigs ahead of him are Giannis Antetokounmpo and Victor Wembanyama, who are only averaging 1.4, so that's just the difference of 0.1 steals per game. Now, getting back on a fast break, you might think Shengun's a little slow because he's a bit of a bigger fella, but no, he's not. He's getting all the way back. Now, here, you think that Devin Vassell has got a clear lane to the basket. He's beating Jalen Green here. And Dylan Brooks is too far away to be able to contest that. So Alperen Sengun sees this. He says, not today, young fella. Great job from Jeff Green here as well. But Alpi comes across with the huge block against the glass and says, not today, my brother. And here we go again on defense. Wemby, great instincts, just being in the passing lane, gets the ball out. Great timing as well, not to turn the ball over after he made the steal. Look at this, right? And once he gets the steal, Sochan's still there. Sochan's lurking. He's a great defender himself. What a great pass from Alperen Sengu. Now, here we go. They're running a screen roll. Dylan Brooks did a great job defending Wembenyama, especially off the ball being a real pest in this game. But on this one, Sohan sets the screen and Wemby comes off it right. And Alpi just anticipates the pass being played through the lane, slaps the ball away. It's a turnover for the Spurs. The Rockets get away again. Here we go again, guarding Sohan this time. Sohan drives in, Alperen Sengu elevates and he meets him at the summit and says not today, blocks him, away they go again. Now this time, Dylan Brooks is guarding Wemby and they're using Wemby as a screener for the guy that's being guarded by Fred Van Fleet because they want that mismatch, they're hunting that mismatch. So as the screen happens and they switch, Fred Van Fleet is now fronting Wemby and that's an easy pass over the top if Wemby gets deep position. But because Sohan's not a prolific three-point shooter, Shengun can sag off of him. And what he does is he tells Fred Van Fleet, switch with me. I'll guard the big fella. So Wemby gets the ball, or does he? Because that lofted entry pass. Now, I think players don't really make good entry passes into the NBA anymore because they don't really do a lot of posting up. But this lofted entry pass to one hand makes it very difficult to secure possession. Alpi tips it, and away they go again. This time, guarding Wembenyama on a post up. He's read the scouting report. He knows in this position, when Wemby faces up, he's gonna try and rip the ball through and go to the baseline. He's read the scouting report. He does that and comes up with a steal. Look at his left hand. You can't see it from this angle, but as Wemby's trying to rip through, go baseline, Alperen Sengun comes up with the steal. On this possession, guarding Wembenyama again. Wembenyama wants to catch the ball. Alperen Sengun meets him at the point of the catch. He's not giving him any space. Wemby this time spins to the baseline. Sengun does a great job moving his feet, interfering. Maybe a little foul, but we ain't calling that. We ain't soft on this channel. Now, I know he's not a prolific shot blocker, but when you watch the Rockets, he does do a great job of getting in the right position and contesting vertically with his hands up in the air. More times than not, that can do enough to alter a player's shot enough to force them to miss, even though it won't show up on the stat line. Shengun is an elite screen setter, which is why the Houston Rockets are the third best team in the entire NBA when it comes to scoring from dribble handoffs. But the reason why he's been called baby Jokic and being compared to who I think is the best player in basketball right now, Nikola Jokic, is because of his IQ. And last look, look, this pass speaks for itself.
If you want to see more about Shengun's passing, then check out the link in the description. I did a whole breakdown of the offense and defense of the Houston Rockets, and we focused in on Shengun's playmaking. So you can check that one out after you finish watching this. I know earlier in the video I said when Benyama is the best defender in the NBA, you might be thinking I'm crazy. I clickbaited you guys with a title. I, I don't think Shengun is better than when Benyama, but I think he does better than anyone else does against him. And personally. I think Wembenyama is a top 15 player in the league right now. Now, I put that on Instagram, I put it on TikTok, and I got flamed in the comments. They all commented glazing. I don't know why everyone likes donuts so much all of a sudden, but it might be a new school thing. I don't really know about that term. But let me ask you this. Name the 15 players better than him, and factor in defense as well. And if you want to know why I think Wembenyama truly is a top 15 player already, even though he's a rookie in the NBA, let me know in the comments, and that will be the next video I make. Appreciate you guys watching, subscribe, all that good stuff, and until next time, get buckets.